everybody what up you guys it is sassy assassin here back with another video i hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far it is currently may 17th 2024 and in today's video i'm going to be reacting to two foodie beauty videos the first one being new health issues revealed and the second one being i almost died trying to take the stairs so without further ado folks let's get to Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. So this video is actually going to be um, about my previous video. Uh, and I'm doing a lemon lip balm. <laughs> the pleasure and the pain. Imagine sitting here and talking about your serious health issues and not even a minute into the video, you're like, gee -hee. I'm doing a lemon mukbang while I'm doing this video. Mukbang shouldn't even be on your lips right now. For real. For real. Look, that just really aggravates the fuck out of me. If my skin looks, like, oily, it's because I um, haven't been moisturizing my face like I should be. So... I put like a, I bought a moisturizer. I bought two moisturizers from Lush. One I use regularly, the Skin's Shangri La, and if you know Lush, you know that's one of the best ones, um, for sure. So I haven't really been using it. Like I go through bouts where I just don't care about my skincare routine. So now I you're not even washing it because what happens is your skin. Can, if you have like oily skin like me, if you don't wash it for a certain amount of time, you're your skin gets really oily. Especially when you first wake up. It's just like this sh this sheen that looks like it's like this healthy glow, but it's just oil. From like, all and, and shit from the previous day. So this just proves that she's not even washing her face, which is disgusting care and um i know that sounds so weird if you're not inside my head you probably will never get it <laughs> i'm trying my best to make you guys understand but um so i use this other moisturizer um peace because it has cocoa butter almond and aloe and i don't know i just like like i find it a bit too heavy and um not greasy but just heavy you know, that cocoa butter heaviness to use as like an everyday moisturizer so i actually use it as a moisturizing mask so i don't really waste it like a kind of an overnight mask or just a mask when i'm not going to be putting on makeup and i'm just going to be staying at home so yeah um it may be just too much for your skin so she's never like gotten like a professional consultation i did a couple of years ago i can't remember whether it was alta or sephora whatever but they gave me some really good tips about you know what kind of products i should be looking for because i was getting a lot of a lot of bad acne and um i wasn't having any luck so they had they had a sale going of a whatever and i got a, like a like a consultation for like half the price and I gained so much insight from just that 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 skincare consultation, and I still get acne, and I I realize that your skin changes like every like I think five to seven years, I'm not sure, but like I still have pretty oily skin, and I look for things that help reduce that. Okay, like there are some people that just buy skincare products, no matter like what kind of skin type they have. Just for the sake of buying it because it's trendy. You know what I mean? It's like, no, you need to buy things that I mean, use things that complement your skin. Whether you have dry skin, you know, sensitive combination, oily, whatever. It really does matter what you what you put on your your face and your body. Now yesterday. I did a video where I said I had a new health problem and I didn't really want to talk about what it was. Um, there's just some times where I feel like more vulnerable and like I don't want to talk about certain personal things. It's not that I'm trying to like clickbait you guys. Um, you know. 
you were totally clickbaiting in that last video. You manipulating and gaslighting. You were pulling an Amberlynn Reed, basically. Oh, I have this thing going on, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Come on now. Stop acting all brand new. No, because I did have a new health issue, but I didn't really just want to talk about it. It's not something like, it's something that could potentially be serious, um, but it's not like right now super serious. Uh, as long as I really start taking care of myself, so, and this is the thing, like, I, you know, this is, it's just like, I feel like just health-wise, everything's just crumbling down, and I'm not coming on here, you know, to ask for sympathy, I'm just here to share my personal because you sure as hell did in the last video, and you're doing the, very, it's very behind the door, but you're, you're still doing it, Chantel, by making this video. No experiences in life good and bad and um regardless of the reception of them basically so probably drink a lot of water in between um there's quite a few new people um that are watching me now i see a lot of comments i'm new here i'm new here so this is for the new non-existent audience in case you've actually a lot of my videos are privated my old ones so you can't really go back and see like the health journey from the beginning in a lot of ways so basically um i'll just give you like a recap of my health issues um to, and then i'll explain what's wrong with me now i mean a retelling of your your past based on the narrative you want to have now so not the truth but Go on, Chantel, because you know what? There are people who are still watching you that have been around since the old days and will come online and openly refute your lies. So, nice try, but, you know, whatever. So, so uh, where do I even start? So I'll just start with, like, obesity-related illnesses. I don't want to get into, like, my whole health history, but currently the illnesses I have um, that are related to my morbid obesity... So uh, I have um, sleep apnea, which I've had for years now. I don't even know how many years. I, I would have to think, and my brain's not braining. So, um, it, yeah, it's been years since I've had that. Um, had the whole sleep study done, which is horrible, by the way. I don't know. I, like, when I'm forced to sleep at a certain time, it just doesn't work for me. So, um, yeah, so that was that was interesting. But I got diagnosed with sleep apnea. Um, how I knew I had sleep apnea, I get asked that a lot, was um, actually my mother noticed um wow my eyes look bloodshot i just yeah it's, i'm just tired <laughs> um so some weird noises going on just i hope they're not too distracting so um i went to a cabin with my family my grandfather like rented a cabin when he came down from florida and uh, the whole family stayed there this was um years ago you know maybe in 2000 maybe in like 2018 2017 2018 um, I just like, I was always tired because I wasn't getting good sleep and I would wake up, one, one indicator was I'd wake up with pounding headaches. Um, I would wake up in the, the night, um, just like choking and I didn't, wouldn't know why. And then one time I fell asleep on the sofa, like sitting up even with, um, and my mom was there and she's like, you know, cutie, you're like, you know, you need to get like sleep apnea assessment because you're like, keep waking up and like gasping for air. So, um, until I had my sleep study, I would sleep like propped up on the couch in my apartment and yeah it was not fun so finally when i had my cpap machine it was like oh it was like a relief you know i could sleep well and i've had it since um so i have sleep apnea and um if you don't get that rectified it's very dangerous it it increases your blood pressure and um yeah it's not you you, you have to get it treated eventually because it can lead to like heart problems and sometimes death if i'm left untreated so um then um, a few years ago, I also um, had pulmonary embolisms, which I've had twice. Um, the first time, I just noticed a lot of chest pain, and like it, that went into my back and like in the lung area. So, and I was like so short of breath, so short of breath, more than usual. I couldn't even, and I was just like you know, couldn't do anything without well, like walking a few steps. I would be so out of breath, and um, <clears throat> more than usual. 
So I went to the hospital and they did a blood test and found like it's called a D dimer test and they found that I did have blood clots and um, they did a CT scan and they found I did have blood clots. I had some pulmonary embolism in my lung. So they put me on Warfarin, Coumadin, and um, which is for people who are overweight, the most effective option. Um, but I had to get regular blood tests, um, INR tests, which were a pain until I bought my own machine. But before that, I had to go to the lab. Like I think it was like every, it was I don't remember every week maybe. And so I asked to be put on another medication. So they put me on another medication at my request, and they did warn me about the potential issues, but they thought there would be a chance it would be okay. Because there's a risk of, if you're put on a medication, like a certain medic, like for people over a certain weight, mostly only Coumadin will work. So they put me on a different one where I wouldn't have to have the test done anymore, but the pulmonary embolism came back because it wasn't working. The, the medication wasn't working, so I went back on the Coumadin. So, which I'm not on anymore. I know a lot of people are gonna think that's so dumb and risky because they did like test in my legs to see like where the deep vein thrombosis, like to see if it was a deep, caused by a deep vein thrombosis, basically a blood clot in my legs or something. So they scanned my legs, it didn't originate from there. Um, so they're not really sure where, but you are at a very high risk of developing blood clots if you are sedentary and if you are overweight. So that's another thing I had. Um, so then um, I recently was diagnosed um, in 2023. Was it 2023? It was like recently diagnosed with diabetes um i've had really high blood sugar for a long time so i've probably had the diabetes for a long time um so i have that type 2 uh so yeah um those are currently the obesity related illnesses that i have um some tests were done so and i, I got diagnosed with that here in kuwait i saw a doctor and um they really had to film that moment were you eating the lemon Really? It's not cute. It's not fun. It's not fresh. Okay? It's annoying. Through, like, urinalysis. You know how they do a urinalysis panel and blood work? Um, found a high level of protein in my urine. Um, so, my kidneys, you know, the beginning of having issues with my kidneys, which is common with people with type 2. I was told to drink a lot of water, especially with the medication for diabetes I was taking. Um, and that brings me now to uh, recently I've noticed like a very high increase in urination, like just always needing to urinate, like maybe every half an hour, literally, like just having to urinate and urinate. And it could have a UTI and a probably a kidney infection, which I'm dealing with right now, by the way. But don't worry, I'm on antibiotics and I'm drinking plenty of water and I'm. You know, I even have probiotics and stuff like that. I'm, I'm even right now. I'm drinking a, a watermelon lime, Olipop. I love Olipops. <laughs> it's the name Olipop. It's such a cute name, Olipop. I would have like pain in my side, like in the kidney infection. Yeah, kidney area, like in my back. You guys, as you guys know, I am well versed in this. I've been dealing with this shit for years. Okay, I also have kidney stones in my kidney that can cause infections. So, but I don't have like a high level of protein in my urine and stuff like that. Like, I'm very, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't have pre diabetes or whatever. Like, I, you know, I've, I think I've been close to it once, but when the last time I had my, my blood, you know, my blood sugar tested and stuff like that. I wasn't even near type two diabetes, or like, sorry, pre bite, pre bite, <laughs> pre diabetes. People was like, oh my god, you're fat. How can you not be, you know, close to diabetes? It's just not every fat person is diabetic. Um, and I was feeling like, like after, like at the end of when I would go to the washroom, it would like. <sighs> I don't know how to explain, you know, that uncomfortable feeling when you have like a UTI. Um, and I just felt nauseous a lot, like sick to my stomach. So come to find out I have um, a mild, like a kidney infection. It's not like severe. So I'm on antibiotics for that now. And Salah picked me up some cranberry like extract that helps with like um, this issue um, at the pharmacy. And I'm trying to drink a lot. Of you know, it also really helps. Peridium. It's that stuff that makes your pee, pee turn orange. I'm surprised they haven't given her that because that will really help with the pain and discomfort. And um, 
another thing that I like to buy that it's Azo is the main brand. It's urinary tract defense. And um, it really does help, you know, with the bacteria and all that stuff because you can get grow bacteria really easily in the in the private areas. Especially when you're bigger and you, you have folds. It's like you can grow bacteria between the folds. You know, it can and it can travel down to that that to that area and cause infections. If you don't clean yourself properly, it can cause infections. And I'm not I'm not surprised that Chantel has these kind of infections. And see, mine isn't indicative of me not being clean down there because I, I clean. I know that I sweat, so I I clean myself multiple time, times a day. No matter what season it is, but more more during the summer and spring and summertime, it's just it's the sweat, you know. And I I use a, a powder and and stuff like that to keep me dry, which also helps as well. But I still like to clean myself multiple times a day. But no matter what, I still get these in, these infections, and just it's more like because of the the sludge in my kidneys that I was born with, so. water for her i think it's i think it's because not of the diabetes but also the lack of the the, the poor hygiene um and just uh you know i'm so tired from this hi baby girl and uh, you know i'm just trying to feel better so i'm resting a lot and yeah doing what i can but sometimes i get really tired like this and just exhausting having an infection like that it is literally exhausting because right now that's what i'm dealing with i'm just so exhausted all the time just and sometimes i have more energy it's like i don't know it's weird you know like when i was in the pool yesterday i had a lot more energy but i was still not feeling the greatest and um i'm just drinking a lot of water trying to flush it out so i really want to try to be super careful what I put into my body. Sorry, I burped. You know, it's critical at this point. I don't want to have kidney damage. I know people who um, have had uncontrolled type 2 and they were on dialysis and eventually, you know, I, the, the person I knew specifically is no longer with us, sadly. And um, I, I don't know how much damage is already done to my kidneys, but I don't want to have, like, kidney failure. It's probably bad, which is why you need to see a, a specialist they do have a clean a cleveland clinic there in the middle east you, you need to visit it if you can so i'm trying to repair whatever damage is done and i'm gonna do whatever i have to do on my part to to do that even if it's suffering like through the discomfort of the change and the you know trying to take control of my my eating disorder and you know food addiction and stuff like that so yeah, another kind of bleak video, but I hope that it will have a happy ending and oh. not an abrupt one. Oh and I can my just, god! Like, keep going and even if I have to suffer through the change, you guys, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm such a martyr, you guys. Shut up! Just shut up. Is is not being able to eat the food that you want really suff make you suffer? Like seriously, Chantal, it's just food. You can make healthier versions of the food that you like you just have to put in the effort like my god stop acting like you're some sort of martyr for okay you're not a martyr doing wonderful things in life i don't think i've fully lived i don't feel like i have because i've done some really interesting fun things in life but i've always always done them with a shadow hovering over and you've done some very horrible things in your life I have to follow up after the antibiotics are done with another urinalysis and blood test and see how the kidneys are doing. But um, inshallah, this will help it. And, you know, as long as I do my part uh, and just pray, do my part and pray. That's all I can do. So anyways, guys, um, thank you for listening to me. I always say that I feel like I have a lot of time, which is why I don't take myself seriously. And now I don't feel like I have a lot of time at all. So to deal with these issues. So, um, um, things can go, so when you have like diabetes have like that and you start having chronic health issues because of it, things can go from bad to worse and like that. So, and then, you know, I know a lot of people tried to warn me about that and, you know, it's, um, 
it's true, you know, it's true, it can get really bad. So, anyway. She must have had a really bad visit. Maybe she went to somebody here and they were just like, look, if you don't make significant changes now, you're not going to last long. I think she had the talk. I think she had a very serious talk with a doctor. And now the couch is back. What the hell? That's weird. Did they get a new couch? Um, thank you for listening. Uh, I always feel a bit better after I talk it out. And, you know, I I just didn't want to share at the time what was going on. I didn't feel like it. I was kind of just down and not feeling too good. I'm still not feeling too good. But I'm, I do, uh, I am going to. I'm, I am working on, you know, getting healthy. Um, I haven't eaten anything today. Um, but I woke up late. I don't feel terribly hungry right now. Head hunger, yes. I have that nagging head hunger, but physical hunger? I haven't been feeling well. Like I said, I have some nausea, so yeah. I'm just going to tell it to shut up. And the infection is gone, and when you start feeling better, you're going to go right back to, you know, to eating wh what you want. You're going to come up with some excuse. Go away. Maybe the heck of it's only a matter of time till we see the hubcaps of rice again. For a change. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you're doing well, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. This is grim, you guys. I really, I'm, I'm really getting the life by gem vi vibes here, and I don't say that with any disrespect. I'm just, that's just the vibes that I'm getting. But anyways, let's move on to the next video. Hi guys, welcome back. Just a forward note before starting the video. I was confused as to what channel to put this video on, but it was intended to be a vlog from my channel originally because I was doing a bit of exercise in one of my favorite activities, which is visit the camels. So that just naturally became part of the video instead of just the cameraman, but he was more of a support throughout the video of sorts, so we decided it would still fit better on my channel. So enjoy! Look at these cute kittens out there. Well, more camels and just more of what we've already seen. Tell me you're broke without telling me you're broke. Side of the store. <laughs> now, I know many are going to comment on the stray cat situation, but please remember, not all countries are the same as the USA and Canada when it comes to stray animal situations, for example. I see many people feed the cats and give them water all over Kuwait. I know of charities that help the stray cats every day as well. Yes, there are still many stray cats, and I wish I could help them all, but I do what I can. <laughs> like stealing one off the streets? <laughs> it's like a heaven of kitten. <laughs> you can sense that you're an animal abuser and it wants nothing to do with you. Hi. Hi. I'm not your mom. <laughs> 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 Look at these adorable kittens. So cute. Oh my god, it's like looking at a bunch of little little Nixies. Like seriously, to the the like the like the more blacking and uh, you know, um these ones remind me of little Nixies. Oh my god, it's it's so weird. But there's they're all cute, okay. I know there are some people that don't like this content coming from Chantel, but I love cat content no matter what. Cute kitties and doggies, like I just hate that it's coming from Chantel's channel. <laughs> Picking them up. You don't know what you don't know what they have. You're gonna go home and could possibly spread something to your cat. Hey guys, it's very early morning here in the Kuwait desert, and 
We came out here to see if we could see any camels, but I think it's a bit too early. They haven't let them out yet. I don't know <laughs> what a camel keeper is called. I know for sheep it's a shepherd, but they have all this lush green here. It's been raining a lot. It's pretty humid, but it's not too bad. There's a slight breeze. It's not that hot yet. So it's not even 7 a.m. yet, so it's not that hot. But just nice to get a bit of a walk in. in. She hasn't even gone to sleep yet. She's probably still still up from the day from the day before. I love the desert. Um, yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna try to climb up this thing. Easy peasy. Easy. I'm on top of the world. Oh. oh wow! You climbed up a hill, little hill. We're so proud of you, Chantel. Gotta stay hydrated. Top of the world, you guys. I climbed up a little hill. Give me some 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 ass pats and congratulations. Yeah, no thanks. Get in the desert. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> So nice out here. God, heavy breathing. Oh my goodness. Hello guys, how are we doing? Looking handsome hunting here, Kasia. Thank you, babe. So I don't want to see you, Sala. It was 6 a.m. here in Kuwait Desert and it's too humid actually. We can stand the heat, but not the humid. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Hey. Am I sweaty yet? Probably. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it is beautiful, though. I can feel like I can feel the heat and the humidity. Oh my gosh. Is coming towards you, babe. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, hi. Uh, ew, ew. He's doing something. He has to bark. <laughs> Did he bark or it, it could be. They could have anything on them. I'm sorry. It's just. <laughs> Look, you know, see, she doesn't bathe. Bathe. I mean, so she could be bringing anything home that's from those, uh, off those camels. I'm hoping that they're not. They don't have anything. You know what I mean. But... <laughs> it's like they regurgitate their food, and then they um. Hello. <laughs> These are very very big camels. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. Very nice. Put her and the camels. I don't get it. Hello. <laughs> Sell to the camels. Uh. <laughs> God, I hate this. I hate this video. It's a huge camel. Well, I'm seeing Sala again. I, 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 how could you show your face after everything? I don't get it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we catch a very wonderful shot here with this oasis and the camels. We'll just spit on her though. Did I did I miss it or did it did it actually spit on her? And here's Chantal playing with these cute camels. Hi guys. <laughs> this is a huge camel. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello, buddy. 
It's like, oh my god, get this behemoth this away from me. No, I'm okay. Hello. Oh. Uh -oh. Hi. 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 Why are you staring at you? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just smelling me. I don't know, but... Oh. Repelled. Huge camels like this can carry between 375 to 900 pounds. So, oh. yeah, they're very huge. This one is very, very, very huge. Um, <laughs> are you a nice camel? Yes, you're a nice camel. The owner of the camels uh, just came around and uh, gave us full permission to, to play around with his camel. So. <laughs> but I'll let you keep walking because, you know, everyone is they're left behind now because of me. Again, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Shit. Yep. <laughs> see that again. I got to see that again. Because of me. Again, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see that again. I gotta slow mo that shit. Hold on. <laughs> Let's slow mo this shit. So. <laughs> but I'll let you keep walking because, you know, everyone is. You're left behind now because of me. Again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. One time she got kicked by the camel. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it, it spit on her. Maybe it's the same camel that kicked her. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> we do we? How's your feeling, babe? Well, I got some camel spit right in my eyeball, so. Uh oh. <laughs> See you later. Oh, she's a female. Oh, yeah, boobs. It like literally went right in my eye. Better luck next time, babe. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are with more camels. Couldn't give two shits about it. He's just sitting there laughing at her. Like, just like how he does all the time. You know, doing, you know, the, the, the underhanded fat jokes and shit. Like, he really loves you, Chantel. He really, really loves you. I can, I can really feel the love coming from Sala. Oh, babe, there's baby camels. Oh, yeah. Best thing about the desert is the camels. Yeah, it's awesome. Filming Inception. <laughs> Oh my god, how many times are we going to see you go and look at camels? I literally can't, Chantel. There's something new! Okay. I'm trying to go upstairs. Good easy exercise. We're right in the building. Let's go. Keep going, baby. <laughs> you can do it, Hey, okay, you know what? It's a very good the exercise. It's good exercise. Whatever. Exercise. Go, oh, babe. <laughs> Let me find you. you know what, though? It, 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 it's, it, it's a good thing he's there. But at the same time, it's like, would he be able to help her if she had a major injury? Because she is, her gun is, her stomach, which is her gun and her fupa, are so big that she can't see her feet. 
when she's walking. You okay? Yeah. I think one play is enough for today. One more? Okay. I'm going to take the elevator on whatever floor this is. <laughs> okay, on. let's go. Every day I can try to increase. Soon I'll be able to walk the whole building. Whoa. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to It'll never happen. And the video here was showing you the breakfast in bed that I made for us. It's a typical breakfast around here. I don't usually eat breakfast, but I make this for Salah regularly. It's eggs and cheese, cheese and tomatoes, foie madames, sage bread, chicken mortadella for Salah, and a few french fries. You have it every day. Come on. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is the same old sim of bullshit. And she's just making... She's just putting on a show when it comes to this... Uh... Oh, you know, I'm gonna work out and shit because of my health, you know. This isn't gonna last long, okay? This is for this new, non-existent audience. I I'm not buying what you're selling, girl, but anyways, um, that is it for today's uh, video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.